Building a new Interstate 80 bridge is the next big bridge project for the Quad Cities. But first, officials will have to decide what to do with the current one. Some, including area lawmakers, would like to see it turned into a bison bridge. News 8's Jenna Webster explains what a hearing with the Illinois House Transportation Committee tomorrow could mean for that project. It's new tonight on News 8 at 10. When it comes to the I-80 bridge, it's over 50 years old and the Iowa and Illinois Departments of Transportation say it's too narrow and too small for the amount of traffic it holds. A typical way a project like this is handled would be to demo the bridge, which is what makes this so unique because what we're asking them to do, A, it would be the largest wildlife crossing in the world, or the longest, I should say. But it could be large enough for something else. Turning it into a bison bridge and pedestrian crossing was proposed last year. I've never seen a bison, for one. And that proposal has bipartisan support in Illinois. Just the idea that we're going to have something so unique um, to the Quad City area was was the first thing I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Lawmakers, including state representative Tony McCombie. It's going to save taxpayers roughly $30 million by not demoing the bridge. Are proposing a resolution Tuesday that calls on Governor J.B. Pritzker and the Department of Transportation to include the Bison Bridge project in the plans for the new I-80 bridge. We know you already have something in plans, you know, to, to demo the structure, but it is the intent that we want and support this project and IDOT amending their plans for the bridge. A consultant with the project says lawmaker support is critical. It builds awareness and then also demonstrates to decision makers in the governor's office and at the Illinois Department of Transportation that there's a lot of support far and wide for this thing. For McCombie, it's a project that not only brings new life to an old bridge, but also to the Quad Cities. Well, I think will come from all over, not only just the Midwest, but I think from all over the world to see this treasure. A potential new Quad City treasure that takes a bridge not large enough for cars, but is surely wide enough for the bison. Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. About 38,000 people have signed a petition in support of the Bison Bridge, and the Bison Bridge Foundation says it's going to be working to gather even more public support this summer. That's ahead of potential Department of Transportation public input meetings this fall.